ChatGPT is an extremely powerful tool, this is why lots of people are talking and trying it now. This is why here are 5 different ways to leverage and use ChatGPT to solve your everyday needs. And first two things in my list are not related to programming at all. First of all, I can see that a lot of people in schools and universities start to use ChatGPT extensively to solve the homework. Because actually you can simply type whatever you need inside ChatGPT and get an answer. For example, can you compare minus 2 divide 3 and 9 divide minus 4? And as you can see here, we directly get an answer to this question. And your typical way previously to solve such problem would be to google what you are talking about, for example, comparison between two rational numbers, then you need to study documentation, understand how it works, and only then you can solve something. With ChatGPT it is not needed at all, because here you are getting not only an answer, but also the understanding how it is working and how it is calculated. But obviously ChatGPT can make mistakes, this is why it is completely possible that the result is wrong and you must double check it. And it is not all, you can also use it to write essays, for example we can write here, write a small essay about Harry Potter book and see how it goes. As you can see we are getting nicely written text without any errors that we can use in our school or university. Another way to use ChatGPT is to write official emails and documents. And a lot of people like me, for example, hate writing official documents because I don't know how to write them correctly. It is much easier for me to just write hi and then my problem. But it is not how it works for a lot of companies. This is why what we can do, we can pay something like how to write an official email to a homeowner regarding broken window. As you can see here, we are not just getting the letter, but actually I could copy the whole letter and use it and just change the names, but here are some guidelines if we want to try and write it on our own. And now we are coming to programming problems, and actually ChatGPT can help a lot in solving bugs. So for example here I have an Angular project and I just wrote some code, and I am getting an error property current page has no initializer and is not definitely assigned in the constructor. Typically I will just copy paste this error inside Google and try to understand Stack Overflow answers. But now we can just paste it inside ChatGPT and ask, I have an Angular error, what should I do? And as you can see here, we are getting an understandable documentation that it means that we didn't assign initial value. And we can add here equal sign like this, and this is how our code will look like. And alternatively, we can use here a question mark to say that this input is optional. What is more interesting, these are really two only solutions for this problem. And what is even more interesting, I tried exactly this problem a week ago and they just proposed to me the first solution with default value. But as you can see now after one week we already get two solutions here, which means this system is evolving really fast. The next way to use ChatGPT is to ask it to refactor code. And actually it can do it quite good and can help in a lot of cases. So here I am just pasting the function and let's see how it refactors it. So as you can see after pasting this function I didn't say that I want to refactor this function. This is why here we just get the text regarding what this function is doing. And as you can see it understands that this function can be useful for checking whatever user provided string represents a number. However, there are some limitations such as not being able to handle negative numbers or numbers in scientific notation, which actually means it understands that the code can be bad. And now I am asking it to refactor it and this is the new version. And first of all you can compare the amount of lines, here we have like 10 of lines or maybe 15, and here we have just 3 lines. Because essentially here it used regular expression to do exactly the same thing. And here we have a nice comparison, so our refactored version has several advantages. First of all it is shorter, easier to understand, it is more reliable, and it is more flexible because it can handle negative numbers, decimals and numbers in scientific notation. So as you can see, especially for beginner, this tool is really helpful, because it can help a person to understand if their code is good enough and how to improve their code. 
Another way to use ChatGPT inside programming is to ask it for guidance. Let's say that I'm a developer and they need to read query parameters inside JavaScript, but they don't know how to do it or what is the best possible variant. I'm just pasting here how to read query parameters from URL inside JavaScript. And as you can see here, we're getting the best possible answer. Here it is suggesting for us to use URL search params to get parts of our URL. And first of all, here we're getting the least amount of documentation we need to understand the problem. And here we can understand, okay, we're getting search params from url.search, and then we have methods like get parameter name, or for example, has parameter name if we need to. Additionally to that, we're getting a really nice line, URL search params, object is not supported in all browsers, so you might need polyfill or different method if you need to support all the browsers, which actually means it is not like you're getting some code, you just copy paste it, and then it is broken, for example, in all the browsers. If you really check what you're getting back, you are on the safe side. And here is my bonus point how you can use ChatGPT to write code. And actually, sometimes you need to cover your code with comments. And actually, I am trying to minimize the amount of comments that I am writing, and typically I want my variables to be understandable. But in some teams you must write more comments, so all people understand it, especially beginners. Additionally to that, you might be an advanced developer, and then it is more difficult for you to teach other people and show them your code. This is why here I had quite a big feature inside React, and let's see how it was converted with comments by ChatGPT. So as you can see here, I have several components like header cell, header, content, search bar, users table, where we have our state and we're rendering everything, and now here is what it does. First of all, we're getting here header cell is a functional component which represents a cell in a table header, which actually means it is writing really nicely what every component does. And actually we're getting comments really in the places where we need to get them, not everywhere. For example here, determine the future sorting order when the cell is clicked. As you can see here, I wrote it with the variable, so probably it will be understandable for everybody, but comment is looking also nice. After this, we just get a title of our component. Here it is the same, which means it is understandable enough for people. And as you can see here, ChatGPT understands that our project and this search bar component allows user to search table entries by name, which actually means it can perfectly understand the code and change it. And here we have the most amount of comments because this is our main component. So here we have a state to store our list of users. This is our state for sorting state, for search state. Here we are defining the list of our columns, and here are two our function. And a nice comment here regarding use effect hook, which we are using to fetch data from API, update user state, whatever sorting or search value changes. So actually these are comments how you want to write them for other developers. And actually if you want to see how ChatGPT writes the whole feature of React table with sorting and filtering, make sure to check this video also.